Perhaps the most unique feature on the inside is the elevator bed. And people have done elevator beds before and they're not we're not the first one to do it, but you know, we wanted a slightly different take. You know, most people are using garage door motors and motorized things. We would decided to do a manual system, even though we're off grid and we probably will have power all the time. I'm like, well if what if something fails and I don't have power and then we're on the road and we want to go to bed and I, I can't let the bed down, you know, so I came up with, um, it's all garage door parts, it's a chain hoist that's geared down to make it easier, and then the drums, the little pulleys, those are just uh, the torsion bar on a garage door, that's, that's the drums that pull, that pull the cable. So it's all um, off the shelf parts, I had to make some of the brackets to mount it to the wall, and, you know that was a little tricky, but in the end it works pretty well. I'll show you. Um, these guys, they flip out so that the bed has a spot to rest on. The back corners are fixed so we don't have to flip those. So the chain keep right here, that keeps it from coming down. It will come down on its own. The bed's about 150 pounds and so it's not terribly heavy but it's heavy enough that uh, it'll. Yeah, you don't want to be under it when it comes down. So that's all we do to let it down. And we have been living in the past two weeks on the road and it's quite nice to sleep in this thing because we don't need a ladder. We can both just hop up here, queen size bed, two people. And then we don't wake, well we do wake up and we're, we've got these 360 views. We have these big windows on, you know, circle window and these two big square windows all around us. So it's just like, it's actually, we don't have blinds, so it's almost a little too much. The sun's been rising at like 5.30. We don't usually get up till 7, so it's been kind of waking up early with the sun. It's, it's cool, but it's just, it's a little too bright. We're going to get some window coverings. She's already picked out some pleated insulated blinds to come in here. Now this guy, we're not quite sure. I think it's just going to end up being some kind of drape that we, you know, you can't make a circle blind, so. And this, uh, where we're standing in right now, this is kind of the hub of activity of the whole space. This is our combined uh, multi-purpose living, cooking, dining, and there's also guest quarters here. Yeah, so the whole unit sleeps six people. Um, we've got this bed that we're gonna show you here. This dining space, of course, converts to a bed as well, and then we've got the master bedroom in there. Um, so I'm gonna just start right off with the cool stuff here. Um, so the bed is motorized and um, comes down pretty quickly there. I'm going to hold it down and it stops just above the TV um, so you can still sit underneath it um, while it's down. A little ladder and you just crawl up on there. You know it's just Matt and I in here plus our dog but a lot of our clients love to have their you know kids up there whether it's for sleeping or just kind of you know having a break. You know it's really nice to have another place that's not just your bed um, not really a big fan of working in bed and doing other activities, so it's nice to kind of have a little loft area. Yeah, this is really our guest bed space. It's a full, it's extra long, it's actually 90 inches long, it's 10 inches longer than a king size bed. And this is built by a company called Project 2000. It was an Italian company, just recently got bought out by Lippert Components, um, but it's fantastic. The build quality is just second to none. Um, it's rated for 600 pounds, so you get a lot of kind of real quality design into this product here. Um, you, know, you can see I'm shaking it, there's really nothing that's moving. We put a five inch mattress on top of here, there's wood slats underneath, and this is just, it's very lightweight, it's all built out of aluminum. And what's also really cool about this is you can always leave it made, or unmade if you like, because you know, you just take it, put it up into the ceiling and your bed's in a clean environment. You don't have to always make that bed. Yeah, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to converting spaces and making beds and things like that. Matt will tell you, he, um, it's funny, he's really big on kind of cleaning up major things, and then I'm really obsessed with like detailing things. Yeah, true. So, um, yeah. Makes and sense. so what's also nice about this is you can see, you know, I'm, I'm down, you can raise it just a little bit to kind of go how into many, this, this other mode. You, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Now you can stop it there. You can see 
we're now in an environment where we can both have people up there kind of snoozing as guests, but if you're, say you're up late, you're hanging out, having a late you know, evening, drinking around the table, playing some cards, you can utilize both spaces at once. And we intentionally designed that. You know, by the way, this also converts into a bed. This is the kind of the third sleeping space of the, uh, of the living vehicle. And this is the same exact size as the bed above us. Uh, it's um, also a full width, but it's again, 90 inches long. So, you know, vertically, you know, um, I don't know, tall people get to enjoy the space as well. You know, it's not just limited to folks under, uh, you know, under six foot. The primary bed, we're using a horizontal Murphy um, or a wall bed system. So it just comes down right here. So what we do is we move this little fold up rocker out of the way and our furniture actually rolls. So we can move it to the side, all right? Bring it out here, and this guy is what actually ends up supporting your bed, um, so that they're not in your way when you get out of bed in the middle of the night. You don't end up kicking the, the furniture here. And you've got a little reading light, outlets at bed height, and you're right next to the window. So for me, this is more enjoyable than a loft. So this is what the beds look like without the bedding on them before we fold them up. And it's, it's really easy. You just grab your side and it folds right up. And these are both uh, six inch memory foam mattresses. Um, the gap in the middle, we don't really feel it because he fitted them, he fit them perfectly together when he was doing the build. They were meant to touch exactly like they're supposed to, not have a gap in the middle, but still give us a king size bed which opens up all this space here. And they also latch in place so that they don't fall down while you're driving down the road as well. This is a modified deadbolt, which is uh, questionable at best. <laughs> so I took the back side off of a regular deadbolt, threw it away, drilled the hole, and had to cut a little steel pin to make one of the little, has a little bar in there that makes it operate the bolt. So I had to add that little bar but it's just a modification. It's only one-sided. The other side is not on the deadbolt. I took it off and threw it away. Because yeah, it's flat where the mattress sits on it. It's kind of a toy hauler concept. We wanted to be able to put chairs back here, have people back here, just more expanded space where people are in. You can basically, I'm leaning on it. You're leaning on it. It's like a coffee bar type situation. You can eat up here. I almost put my desk back here. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of got going around. Sit in my high chair and look out the window when it got to where. Where are you going to put the chair? I already have chairs up there yeah. and you gotta cut some if, somewhere. If it doesn't work twice, you can't have it. <laughs> so, right. but then, and then he installed the pallets on the back. We just, old pallets again, reusing something and um, whitewashed them and they serve as the headboard when the beds are down to keep the pillows from falling off. And then they also serve as, um, they hold our cleaning products in the back because mm -hmm. they have shelves naturally in them. So it holds like our broom and, and things back there to keep it out of the kitchen or keep it from falling. Again, everything falls as soon as you go to move. Yeah. It all sh shifts. So. I was gonna show just this is just two by four framing. That's a three quarter piece of plywood. This is two by six material and it swivels on a, I believe that's a one and an eighth or one and a quarter conduit pipe that's just mounted through the plywood ends. It's all bolted to the wall with L brackets. And um, so none of it's going anywhere. It's all rock solid like built ins. Hardware wise, it's probably around $100. And wood-wise, it was probably around $200, so they were a little bit pricey for what they looked like, in my opinion. But um, for what they did for us, it was worth it. And if you go to start buying Murphy bed parts, they're really, really high-end, yeah. and they're kind of cheap, just to be honest with you. They're kind of flimsy and spring-loaded. And, and they're size-specific, spec too, and none of them fit, like, they, like I said, most of them go up. Some you of them know, made to down, do the, the long yeah. bed. The yeah. tall work way go up, which would, have which would the not have worked for me. No. This one here, it, it pivots on that bar, which is only half the bed. So technically, the weight of the bed, you really don't feel it. It's almost like it's yeah. weight dis distributed evenly, so it's pretty light to lift. Yeah, anybody can lift them. I mean, I did it with one hand, and pulling them down is the same way, so they're very... And these, these are, are regular great. residential door hinges. Even though when it sits on the floor, the weight is against the hinge, I was going to just do two and opted for four just because I didn't want to have something start to sag or give or start to move. The living area of the RV, certainly still a living area, but this is, this is our bedroom or our bed. And Amanda and I 
built a queen size bed platform and we are really happy with that decision. The RV originally had a convertible twin size bed or it's like slightly even smaller than twin size. And it was innovative in uh, its design and especially for the age of this vehicle, innovative that they even built something like that at the time. But having to set the bed up every night break it down in the daytime when we wanted to travel was really not ideal for us. And it was also not very comfortable because it's like 60 year old seats <laughs> basically that you're sleeping on. So instead we did a little bit of modification to the floor plan and we built a platform and put in this queen size bed, got ourselves a cheap memory foam mattress on Amazon, which has been actually really comfortable. I don't think you need to spend 1200 bucks, get yourself a cheap one. Um, and yeah, it's kind of cool. It's uh, perpendicular to the length of the vehicle and it's nice because we can flip our heads to either side depending on the you know if we're on a little bit of slant I'm really sensitive to having my head up or downhill so I like to always have my head uphill so you know we can put our heads at either end and that that works out great mm -hmm. 